But $1,000 per person, the total cost is $275 billion. $275 billion. And YouTube, what's up? IGGY checking in. Shadowband TV checking in from the Shadowband Studios. Yours truly. Uh, love you guys. Smash that like button for me on your way out. Make sure at the end of this you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going to do if you get offered this. Let me know. I want to know. I really want to know what you're going to do. All right? Because you better start preparing yourself right now mentally, physically, and spiritually. And definitely prepare yourself to say no. Stay tuned to the end of this video because at the end I have a special, special song for you guys. One love and God bless. Check this out. There isn't a coronavirus vaccine just yet, but the debate is already raging about who will be the first to get it and who might refuse to take the vaccine. Now, infectious disease experts have said that to reach herd immunity, about 60% of the U.S. population at the very least needs to be vaccinated. Now, our next guest has a bold idea. How about paying everybody $1,000 to take the coronavirus vaccine once it becomes available to reach herd immunity as soon as possible and move into that post coronavirus pandemic world and also help with the U.S. economy. Joining us now is Robert Lighton, non-resident senior fellow at the Brookings Institution. Robert, this is a bold idea. Do you think the federal government will actually go along with a proposal like this to pay people $1,000 to take the vaccine once it becomes available? Well, I think once you go through the map, uh, the alternatives look a lot worse, and I'll explain why. You just said that uh, infectious disease experts say we need 60% of the population to be inoculated. Uh, the problem is, is that no vaccine is perfect. Dr. Fauci has said he'd be really happy if we had one that was only 75% effective. So if you do the math, and we get one that's 75% effective, that means that you get you need 80% of the population to take the shot in order to achieve 60% herd immunity. Now, what are the chances of that? Well, according to the latest polling, one third of Americans, I saw one poll said 35%, are refusing to take the vaccine, even, it, even when it becomes available and is widely available. So uh, uh, that doesn't get you to 80%. Now, Dr. Fauci has also been quoted uh, uh, saying, we're not going to force people to take the vaccine. And frankly, I think if the government tried to force people, you'd have a huge counter reaction, much worse than the anti-masking kind of thing that we see today. So you can try to have people persuade. You have a massive public education campaign. But I think it's going to be really hard to cut into that hardcore 30, 35 percent that's going to refuse to take the vaccine. So as an economist, I say to myself, well, what's the only way we're going to get there? Pay people. Now, the question is, how much? I'll be the first to tell you, I don't know how much, but I don't think $100 is going to do it. I think if you paid $1,000 a person, so for a family of four, you're talking $4,000, in these hard times, that's a lot of money. And I think a lot of people would take the vaccine for 1000 And I have a <laughs> kicker on that idea. And that is, what if you offer the 1000 but you don't get everybody up to the 80%? Well, in order to do that, what I would do is say, I'm going to hold back uh, maybe 800 of the thousand. So you get 200 when you walk in and take the vaccine, but you get the other 800 when the nation gets to 80 percent. So now everyone that takes the vaccine has an incentive to go on social media, talk to their friends, talk to their family, talk to their church colleagues, et cetera, work colleagues and say, hey, take the vaccine because you and I will both get that extra $800. So you build in economic incentives for the country to get to the level of herd immunity. And I'm going to be crystal clear. If we don't get herd immunity, we're not getting our economy back and we're not getting our society and our lives back. So I, I don't know what the alternative is. Okay, we're back. Now, before I give you guys a special song, okay, let me just explain that is classic criminal behavior. Classic. We're offering you $1,000, ladies and gents. We are going to offer you $1,000 to take this vaccine. Number one, why is our government so pressed and so concerned about us taking a vaccine? Why can't it just be our own choice? Who takes it, takes it. Who doesn't, doesn't. Think about that. Never in your life. 
have you seen something like this? Where they wanted people to... Va I don't even think the polio vaccine, they pushed propaganda this much. Okay? So you really have to sit down and ask yourself that, number one. Why do they want us to take it so bad? And they're talking about mandating it. Forcing the needle into your arm if you don't. And remember something else. They're talking about self... Um, like doing a vaccine yourself. Okay? W w what's the loop around that? Well, if you put it on yourself, you can't blame nobody. As soon as you put a vaccine on yourself... You're screwed, bro. You did it to yourself. So anything that happens to you, you did it to you. You can't point the finger. You can't do nothing. Okay? If a doctor puts it in you, it's a little different. You can start going out the pharmaceutical company and start trying to sue. I think if you put it on yourself, you ain't even going to be able to sue. I think that's why they're doing that. Now, in, like I said, that's not fact. That's my opinion. I, that's what I think. <clears throat> now, classic criminal behavior. We're going to offer you $1,000. But listen, guys. You're only going to get 200 bucks to begin with, okay? You're only getting $200 to begin with. As soon as we reach herd immunity at 80% of the population, you'll get your other 800. Oh, now he says you're going to go bribe your friends. Like, guys, man, make sure you go get that till we get the extra 800. Like, it's $1,000, bro. You could pay me a million dollars and I wouldn't take this vaccine. You could pay me a million dollars right now and I will not take that vaccine. Do you understand me? That's how serious I am. I know what they're trying to do here. I can see through their shit. I'm telling you, man, this is some serious shit. Don't risk your life. There's not a dollar amount that is... It, nothing is worth your life, bro. And, and nothing is worth being paralyzed or all these sicknesses that might come or possible death. Okay? Because all that's available. But also, transhumanism. Even if it works and you become transhuman. Because I believe that that's what they're trying to do here. It's not worth it, man. You have a soul. This is temporarily. This is just a flesh suit. It's temporary. Calm down. Be a man and say no. If you're a woman, be a woman and say no. Defend your kids. Defend your family. Say no. And I'm going to keep pushing that until they take me out, take me down, or whatever. That's that's my agenda, okay? So keep you healthy. Keep you safe, all right? And to motivate you to say no to the vaccine. No to their NWO. And tell them to stick the coronavirus up their ass. <laughs> it's coming soon. But guys, it's classical criminal, criminal behavior because all they got to do is say, Oh, well, guess what? We paid you 200 bucks. And guess what? We didn't reach our immunity. So now you're out of the 800 and you're screwed because you took the vaccine. Think about it. Come on. That is classic criminal. That's a criminal move. We're offering you a thousand, but we're only going to give you two hundred up front. As long as we reach eighty percent, you'll get the other eight hundred. Then who is to say whether it's true or not when they get the eighty percent? If they say no, how would you know for sure that that many people are going to take the vaccine? And you could be screwed. So you only get paid two hundred dollars, not a thousand. You're only going to get paid $200 if you do this. Mark my words. If if that's what they do, if they take that dude's information. This is The Economist, for crying out loud. The Economist. I mean, guys, come on, dude. The Economist. Really, though? Let's go. Wake up. Think with your head. Okay? And believe with your heart. Love you guys, man. IGGY checking out. Shadow Band TV checking out. And I'm going to leave you guys with this.
Make sure you check out Never Lose Truth channel. That's where I just got that song. Uh, you can stick your new world order up your ass. You can stick your poison vaccine up your ass. Never Lose Truth. Links will be pinned in the comment section of this video of her channel. Make sure you check her out if you haven't. Like her video, share to her channel. Subscribe to her channel and share her channel. Much love to you guys. Man, sharing is caring, man, guys. Censorship is ridiculous. Oh. See you guys later. Lady alligator.